Hi guys, here with Zero Code NFT here. Today I'll show you how to randomize your NFT metadata before uploading it to IPFS. What do I mean by that is, as you probably know, when, when people are minting the NFTs on your smart contract, in most scenarios, um, the order of the NFTs that they get are in a sequential order. So like, uh, you know, when you mint, uh, if you're the first one to mint, you will get the NFT under, with the token ID one. And then you know it will keep increasing until the end of until the size of your collection. So you have a collection of five thousand, it will go from one to five thousand in the sequential order. But sometimes you might want to randomize that so that, for example, if I mint NFT was number five, um, when I actually open it and when I actually see what I got, I will actually have an NFT that is I don't know three thousand two hundred and one. Uh, so in order to do that, um, let's look first at what um, data you would have before uploading to IPFS. So uh, you will most likely have an images folder where you have all your images that are going to be your, your art. And then you also have uh, the corresponding number of the JSON files uh, that describe your images, uh, your, your metadata. So now what we want to do is we want to shuffle these JSON files, the metadata files, so that they're not in the same order um, as they were originally. And in order to do that without writing any code, we can use this utility called bulk rename utility. I'll include the link in the description below. Um, so go ahead and download this app. It's free to use for, um, for home use, for non-commercial, it's free. And once you have it, uh, navigate to the folder where you have your metadata. And then I will select JSON. If you have a lot of files, if you have a big collection, it will probably take a little while to load, so just give it some time. Um, and then the way you will look for you is probably like this. At first, you will have this weird ordering. Um, so what you want to do is go to sorting and apply logical sorting first so that they're sorted logically. Um, next, you will want to select all the JSONs. Uh, the, short, the shortcut for that is control A. So select all the JSONs. And next, what you'll want to do is go to actions, list, and apply random sort to the current list. There we go. Um, next, in the name, we will remove the existing name, and we go. We'll go to the numbering, and we will do prefix. So now, as you can see, my old JSON name was seventy-three, and the new name is one. Ninety-one became two, twenty-nine became three, and so on and so forth. So now our metadata is shuffled, and the only thing left is to actually export it. And for that, we will come to menu item 13 and I will pick the folder where I want to drop this. So it's on my desktop. I'll put it into the shuffled folder. By default, um, this utility will copy the files. So the renaming will not be applied to your actual uh, files, you will just copy them and then do the renaming in the copy. So you, you keep your original files intact. Find it, I'll do rename, accept the warning. And here we go, 100, 100 items successfully processed. So now if I go back to my folder here, I got 100 JSONs, and if I open JSON 100, it should show up as 75. And there you go. It's showing up as 75, just like we saw in here. 75 is 100. And this is it, guys. This is how you can shuffle your NFT metadata without writing any code. Thank you.